And he's making sure everybody sees and knows me. Because a lot of the people at the time knew my voice but didn't know what I looked like. Right. And, and just the, I guess, the shock value because they thought maybe I was, you know, I, I, I was, you know, more dark skin. Dark skin. They didn't understand. Right. And, and as how we don't have that problem in Jamaica, here it was. And it, it came to my advantage. It's like I was quiet about it till they started to see me more. And they're like, yo. They're going to push you more. Yeah, yeah. And yeah he's it. marketable. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. So, so, I mean, and it's not marketable but when you say that. It just it shows you that something is wrong with the world. Exactly. Yeah, I get it, but you know exactly. that's what they say. Especially up here. Yeah, we on Boss Talk one on one. Yeah, we gonna talk. Why more Jamaican artists aren't mainstream? Because I know that, like, when Good I question. go, when I go to Jamaica, because. I hear all this dope music and who is this person? Who is this person? Yeah, like, Daddy, so much I, never, I never heard of yeah. y'all. Yeah. Why, are, why isn't America hearing about all of these, these different people? Do these people, in order to get heard, have to do more collaborations with American, it, you, I mean, Nobody Europeans. done that like you. It's weird. Though. Nobody. It's weird. Because um, what I was going to say is that when I started to break internationally, I kind of hooked up with a certain set of peoples. Um, I was in Jamaica and I was looking for bookings. Mm -hmm. And there was a promoter that's in the States, shout out to Big Joe New Life, New York City, Jersey. He had a, a mailing list of about 10,000 Latino kids that would come to his clubs five nights a week. Mm. Um, so, like, you'd have Tuesday night, Wednesday, you'd have two gigs, one in Jersey, one in, in Manhattan. Then on, like, so you had five nights a week, right? And he was having a spring break thing, and he said he had a mixtape um, from a DJ, a big DJ in, in Bronx called Ted Smooth. You got Ted Smooth? Yeah, yeah. And Ted Smooth is like, yo, this, this dance hall stuff is breaking. Like, you should get some of these guys to perform. So he's like, yo, I like this song. Um, who sings that? And it was an artist, a very popular artist. And they like, um, he he charges 20 grand. I said, well, that's too much for me. How, I like this song. How much is that one? Another popular artist. He's like, he charges 15 grand. It's like, that's too much for me, man. Uh, this song, I like this song. What, what, how much he charge? He charged five grand. That was me. He's like, <laughs> like nah, that's, he's like, that's, my, that's yeah. my Stilo right they're, there. They were like, get him. So that was the start of that relationship. But I saw a great promoter. He was a great promoter. And somebody was a go-getter. Like, if I had a club date with him, when I would walk in, you know, Manhattan or Jersey or whatever, wherever that club is the day before, I'm walking on my face. Like, there's mm -hmm. flyers everywhere. Like, and he's making sure everybody sees and knows me. Because a lot of the people at the time knew my voice but didn't know what I looked like. Right. And, and just the, I guess, the shock value because they thought maybe I was, you know, I, I, I was, you know, more dark skin. Dark skin. They didn't understand. Right. And, and as how we don't have that problem in Jamaica, here it was. And it, it came to my advantage. It's like I was quiet about it till they started to see me more. And they're like, yo. They're going to push you more. Yeah, yeah. And yeah that's he's it. marketable. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. So, so, I mean, and it's not marketable but when you say that. It just it shows you that something is wrong with the world. Exactly. Yeah, I get it, but you exactly. know that's what they say. Especially it is. up here, they look at that and like, is. okay, it's, it has a lot to do with complexion. Yeah, them, I've learned that so look. much. It, this dark person compared to this lighter person, even with females, oh, you have the full package. I'm gonna push you. Yeah, the full package. You have the talent, but you dark skin and you not really. Yeah, it's crazy. I'm pushing you. It's crazy. Yeah, so, I don't know. But you, you put Tyrese in there with y'all. He gonna bring. He gonna do his thing. Yeah, he is. <laughs> but, but, but but there's 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 way more. There's a lot more talented people mm -hmm. who don't get the chance. That's that right. Exactly. Got, yeah. Like, so it's 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 less. Uh, um, unfortunately. Yeah, um, but, but you dope so, though, so, so you, you can't just go by that. With nah, me. I ain't you going by that alone. Hell. I ain't so, going by that alone. But, but that you shot know that. value right. did help me out. Yeah. And then being like every week, I'm like, yo. You don't got no more bookings. I'm coming to do a show. I'm, I'm bothering this dude. And he's like, all right. And he starts putting me on shows. And I start winning, like, the affection of uh, some Latin ladies. Right. In Jersey, Manhattan, and Staten Island. And, because these are his clubs. 
and I started to break outside of my genre. Mm-hmm. Um, a lot of stuff I would do for cheap or free. And a lot of stuff I would, like the radio stuff especially, I would do for free. And so that helped me in the beginning for a lot. And then my consistency of keep going to the studio, keep, keep trying to put heat. out, yeah, keep mm-hmm. bringing the heat for the people. And I think that happened. But no two people have the same story. Right. You know, so I can't tell somebody my story. Like with Rasa Joy, sometimes he asks me, like, yo, how? And I'm like, bro, there's no two people that have the same story. I love Supercat. I emulated him. I try to be like him. But you I, tweak I'm it. not him. You tweak it to make it your exactly, own. Exactly, exactly. But I ain't him. Right. I could never be him. So I take the inspiration from what he does, from what Bob Marley did, mm-hmm. from other people, and I, 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 I add what I can do to it. And that becomes something else, you know? So your path, I tell him, your path is gonna be different from my own. I'm gonna help you as much as I can. And I'm gonna tell you what worked for me as much as I can. But don't expect that every step that I took is gonna work for you. Because if if he, the same promoter, the, the Latin club, he's a Rasta, it, it would probably be a different <laughs> scenario for me. You're, you're, right, you're right, you're right. So like it w- they wouldn't connect with him on that level for that reason, but you have to find what connects with you like he's on the stage now and he has a song called Smoking Loud Okay. and he connects with the crowd and he's like yo could you help me sing it out sing it proud and the crowd says Smoking Loud so I'm like that's working for you bro check them in that respect whatever works in you. for me it was a lot of the girls songs and yeah. songs about love and songs about relationships mm-hmm. and that worked cause ladies like me you know right. what I mean so right. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gon' talk.